Hi everyone, my name is Roy and I'm a second year psychology student at Queen Mary University of London. So today I'm going to be providing you with a quick walkthrough of CogLab, which is provided by Cengage. Essentially, it's an online lab which helps to increase your understanding of cognitive psychology through an experiential and interactive way, such as by taking part in psychology experiments yourself. So I used CogLab for around 17 weeks last semester for my cognitive psychology course and I found that it was a really, really useful, um, really amazing tool and it really helped me to gain a first. Okay, so when you first log in, you will see this screen here and on the left hand side, you can see that there are uh, different topics and essentially these include activities that you can do and also it takes you to the part of the book in relation to the to the topic and if you go down you can see that there are experiments you can do yourself um, and there are video cases as well I just quickly wanted to say that what I found very useful is that there are essay questions that you can attempt yourself to um, test your understanding so there are different essay questions um, and assessments um, and whether they count or not, it depends on your module organiser. OK. The main reason why I was using CogLab was for the book. So here you can click on the book icon and it takes you to the book. And this is the book by Goldstein. And um, you can type in what page number you want, say so if I want 345, I could just type it in and it takes me straight to that page, which is uh, much easier than, you know, if you had a hard copy of the book having to flick to that page, it's much easier this way. Um, something I really, really like is that there is a voice option, so you can have the, the text read out to you, and this is particularly useful for students who who maybe don't enjoy reading um, large amounts of text or they just can't concentrate well. Um, so you can click this icon here and you can hear it. And there is also an option uh, where you can adjust the speed of the voice and um, whether it's male or female speaking. And I found that that was very, very useful, um, especially because it's similar to being in an actual lecture. Um, if if those, those of you who are watching, if you enjoy being in a lecture, um, then this is similar to that and it really helped me to um, you know, take in the information much better because it was as if someone was saying it to me. It was very, um, very nice that they have um, you know, pictures and examples of experiments on here. It really helps you to visualise the information that you're being told. Um, something else that I really um, like, it has the definitions for different words on here as well, which is very very good so if you don't understand something in your course content you can easily just come to the book and a lot of the time um, new words have been defined so if I want to know what visual word paradigm is it easily just tells me what it is. There is also flashcards which is very very useful and um, there are flashcards for each topic um, so for example if I wanted to um, revise introduction to cognitive psychology chapter one um, and I wanted to know what cognitive psychology is, then there are pre-made cards, um, which basically give you the information you need. Um, if you don't want pre-made cards and you want to make your own, there's also an option here to create a card. Um, and if you go down, you can see there's this little icon here, which is progress. And I found this very, very useful. Um, because I'm quite a competitive person because it tells you how many times you've logged in, if it's a good amount of times that you've logged in, if you're engaging well, how many hours you've spent on CogLab. Um, over here, it would be um, a green circle, a yellow circle, a red circle, which shows um, your level of um, engagement and how well you're doing in um, the activities. This is very good just to see how well um, you are doing in comparison to your peers as well. Um, and there's also a glossary over here. So if you just quickly want to know um, a definition of a word, you can come on here. So if I wanted to know what action potential is, just very easily, very quickly, it's just written there. And this icon here in black, if you click on it, it takes you to the CogLab um, home screen. 
um, if you ever needed it. On this screen here as well, recent activity scores, it will show you how well you're doing and it will show you your scores. It's just really um, easy for you to see how well you're doing, what things you need to improve on, etc. So if we, if I show you an example of one of the experiments here, we can do it together. So if I want to do signal detection, for example. So it tells you everything you need on this page, which is very useful. So it tells me how many uh, minutes I need to complete it. It says roughly about an hour, just under, um, and it tells you the background uh, behind the experiment you're going to do. So you better understand why you're doing it, um, you know, what to do, how to do it, etc. And then it tells you instructions. Um, and then when you go down here, it, it has the screen um, where you can attempt the um, experiment yourself. So for this task, this is a stimulus detection task. Um, my job is to um, to say whether the dots were arranged in a line or not, so whether the line was present or not. So at the top it says how many trials you have to go as well, and it's really important to always be in full screen so you see um, everything. So if we begin, so I saw the line there, so I pressed present, and then you do next, next trial. So I didn't see any dots in the line, so I pressed absent. And then it asks you, uh, would you like to add your data to the global um, data set? So, um, so you have the option of adding it to um, the research. So I'm going to do yes. And then it takes you to this page. Um, and this is something I really love about CogLab. So it basically tells you um, how well you did um, in comparison to everyone else in the country, in comparison to everyone else in the world, in comparison to your class. Um, so if you go down here, it tells me, it shows you a graph. Um, it has the raw data as well tells you how you did um, trial by trial, group data, um, and global data. At the top, it basically tells you what they didn't tell you in the, the briefing. So they basically debrief you at the end. They tell you what they predicted um, would happen, how they predicted participants would do. Um, they tell you um, confounding variables, um, so, you know, in a, like an actual experiment when, you know, face to face, how they debrief you, they, they do this in CogLab as well. So you get a better understanding of why you did what you did. Um, if you, um, you know, met their hypothesis, if you didn't, um, and it really allows you to see how well you're doing in different tasks. And they do this for every single um, experiment that you complete as well. I know it's been very difficult for students. We're not used to uh, everything being online, especially for me. I, I learn better. I work better face to face uh, with hard copies of books. But CogLab, it has everything you need to really excel in the course. Um, and I was really anxious at the beginning because, as I said, I'm not used to using online resources. I'm not that good at use, using them. So um, I was quite apprehensive. but. It, it's, it's honestly a really, really useful and, and amazing tool and I'm really, really happy that my module organiser used it and I really recommend it to all other students. But thank you so much for watching the walkthrough. I really hope it was useful. Good luck in your studies and yeah, thank you.